Na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu, najua mko wazima, watazamaji wetu na wasikilizaji. Najua mnaendelea vizuri. Asubuhi ya leo tuko mahali hapa kwa ajili ya Jeff. Kumbuka Jeff ni mtoto wa mtu na mnajua kila mmoja chenye kinaendelea katika hii maisha ya Jeff. Tunaomba justice ya Jeff. Tumeandamana mara mbili leo ni siku ya tatu. Na tumekuwa tukingangana kwa jia mingi, tumepitia challenge mingi, lakini tunajua siku ya leo, tunajua tutaenda kupata justice. Ninauliza hivi, tumeona watu wengi wamefanya mambo na justice yao imepatikana. Nje ya jefu ni aje. Mtu hata ana, anashika busi, ana, anairepu, anashikwa. Je, sisi huyu mtoto amefanywa hivi kunaenda aje. Sisi kama wamama siku ya leo tunasikia uchungu na tunaumwa sana. Tumelia, tume, yani tumeshindwa hata tufanye nini. Tukiona hakuna kitu ime, ime, ime inaendelea. Tunajaribu ku, 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 kufanya kila kitu. Tunajaribu kubebele sana, tumejaribu ku, kuongea na nguvu yetu yote. Hakuna justice imepatikana. Tunajua siku ya leo tutaenda kupata justice. Kwa hivyo tutachoka na tutarudi nyuma. Tuko hapa tukichikasa kabisa sisi kama wamama. Sisi tunajua uchungu ya mtoto ni kumaanisha nini. Kwa hivyo justice ya Jeff ndio tunaomba leo. Thank you. Okay, good. Good. Eh? Mm. Greetings to all of you. Uh, Peter Kioi here again, and uh, I'll be here to stay until justice is served. Number one, we are very sorry to the family of Jeff Mwadi for the untimely death. We repeat again that we are very sorry. We are sorry for two reasons. We are sorry that you lost a soul, a young soul, fresh blood, that you really had uh, a very beautiful time and uh, he was, he was a man who was cherishing his life. We are also sorry that the government of Kenya is not ready to serve you justice. We are very sorry that it is delaying it. And we know that they want to deny you the justice that you want. We know that they cannot revive the soul and the life of that young man. But justice must be served. When we mean justice, what do we say? Justice is the truth of what happened, how, and who. Right now, it is not a matter of why, because nobody can ever give you a reason for killing one of your own. There is no reason for taking away someone's soul. We are here not to seek justice. We demand it. And upon demanding it, we are saying it loud and clear. The government of Kenya is busy running politics failing to know and to understand that the same politics that they are fighting for comes and is rooted in the citizens of Kenya. It is us who have chosen the government that is now leading this country. I'm asking the president of Kenya, if right now you cut off every person, every single individual in this country, who will vote for you next time? If right now you retire and the youth is not there, who is going to take up that space? I am very sure that you will never live forever. But what legacy are you going to leave behind? Is it the legacy of the ruling that when you kill, it is swayed away, maybe because of someone is more special than the others? I want to call upon the president of Kenya because this matter is no longer for DCI. It is, not, it is no longer for the DPP. It is no longer for a, any of those authorities. It is now relying upon the hands of Kenyans and the president of this nation. It is only uh, maybe a week ago that we had seen several uh, occurrences, maybe one or two, about the demise of one Elizabeth and also another one. And similar to the case of Jeff Mwadi, uh, there were suspects. And the suspects are arrested and have been arrested and arraigned in court, some of them. What is the difference in that case uh, to this of Jeff Mwadi? I want to question the government that who is funding these people who are the suspects and the key suspects that they cannot face the law? 
And who is behind the delaying of justice to this innocent soul? Who is crown, crying out loud? I will always repeat this, that the spirit of Jeff is working in us. And it is very lively. I can for sure tell you that some of us have gone through a lot of struggles. And I can only quit this if you kill me. That is the only reason that I can quit this. I can also quit this when you shut my mouth with a super glue. But when you, and also when you tie my hands. But when I'm physically working and verbally talking, I will always, if you, if you mean to preach, I will preach. If you mean to cry, I will cry. If you mean that I will mourn, I will mourn. And I feel the, pa the pain of that parent because I am one man, I am one son and the only son to my mom. I can now relate this to the Jeff mother, 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 who is right now very sickly. She cannot talk and she cannot tell what happened. She was busy looking for a life, a beautiful soul, and cheering up. She was busy finding out the, uh, tomorrow's destiny for her children. But to her shock, she has nothing to cheer up, she has nothing to have joy on, and this kid was given as a present by God. We know very well and we are aware that money in Kenya talks. But I want to remind everybody here that money is something, but money is not everything. I want to ask another question. That when I went to uh, Central Police Station, also to the, uh, ca the county police commander, I was instructed and I was given a letter that Actually, there is no picketing. In the Constitution of Kenya, it allows picketing that is free, demo uh, peaceful demonstrations. And this one is not only demonstration, but protest. We are not here for politics. I want to ask for those who say that it is not right to do it because you don't have a permit. I want to ask, using your mobile phone, when the notification pops in, whether you have Lipam Dogo Mdogo or what, does it have your consent? Does it ask, should we send a notification? No. Right now I'm sending this message to the central police station and any other police that is watching right now. That this is a notification. We never wrote that we are requesting for peaceful demonstration. It is our right. So it is a notification. And a notification comes in whether you like it or not. We are demonstrating and we are protesting regardless of your shit. We have already said that we have notified you. So you should be aware that we are doing this protest. Again, you should be aware that you are there to give us security and not to harass us. Any police that will harass us should know that they are doing it against the law and that they shall face the law and nobody is above the law, even the lawmakers in this country. So right now I'm calling upon everyone to stand up as Kenyans. I'm calling upon parents. I'm calling upon every government institution. I'm calling upon everyone that is watching that we should not be, we should not be, actually we should not be shut up or we should not be shut down maybe, or we should not even be silenced by anything. Actually, Peter Saruni stands for the voice of Jeff Mwadi, and not only Peter Kioi, everybody that is here within this vicinity, that we are calling for justice for Jeff. And we are not requesting, we are demanding. Right now, we are calling upon the government of Kenya, that is the section of the MPs, and, and those who will pre are presenting us in the government institution, that we elected you to go and present. Requesting, we are demanding, right now, we are calling upon the government of Kenya, that is the section of the MPs, and, and those who are uh, presenting us in the government institution, that we elected you to go and present us. Now, when the country has no people, who will you lead? I am calling upon any member of parliament that is sitting and watching this, that you are there to represent us as the Mwanainchi. And we are the Mwanainchi at the same time we are the Wenyeinchi. We are the people and the people for the government and the government for the people. And if you want to oppose it, put it in writing form because I don't take verbal talks. Now, I want to tell any other person that is actually against this, justice for Jeff. It is only two ways. It is either you give us justice through constitution or we take it through our hands. And that's all. Thank you. Just a question eh? before you leave. Uh, are you guys cooperating with the family to kuakikisha kwamba mepata haki ya mtoto wao? Actually, the, the family... Like, are you in talks with the family? Actually, uh, yeah. The family is very in touch with us, and uh, we are getting in touch on a daily basis. 
we are not only looking for uh, upon justice for Jeff, but also consoling the family. And every day, day to day, we always engage them. The only thing that we, we can agree on is that the family cannot always come on media every time because you know they are grieving. Mm -hmm. But the family uh, is very much well uh, connected to us. The other time I was arrested at a central police station, the um, Jeff's mother conducted me and she really wished that I should be outside that place and apart from that she really shed tears for me and that's a parent and a parent is connected to the, the child and as for me i don't view it like a relationship between a uh, friendship it's more than a friendship it's just a family affair mm -hmm. and we are all family mm -hmm. and as you see as you see us here we are not working as friends we are family mm -hmm. yeah second question maybe the last time we did an interview with you actually uh ulikuwa una received threats i don't know whether something has been done concerning that the government of Kenya has nothing to do with that because actually, if they cannot give justice for the, uh, for the dead or to the dead, do you think they will support me because I'm being threatened? They cannot take it. But uh, actually for me, I am calling upon those who are threatening us that they should now come and take our heads off because actually we are not giving up and we are not giving in. So anything to do with that maybe, I can tell you that yes, we are receiving threats on daily basis, but that is not, that's now our daily food. You when have reported to the police station about it? We have reported to several police stations and we have several obis uh, concerning that. But uh, our key and our main agenda is to make sure that justice is served. Another thing, eh, we, are not be we are not here for clout. We are not here to be fame, we are not here to be known, and even I will not even wish to be interviewed maybe. But because we want to put everything clear, that's why we come on camera. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, that we are not going to be intimidated or either to be pulled down by anything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you guys, uh, there is an interview you did with Shiko and you guys said uh, you, you know who killed Jeff. Have you guys uh, gone to the police maybe to write a statement concerning the same? Yeah, there are some written submissions that I had made severally, but uh, I will not close uh, disclose everything here because this media and also these people that we are calling them are uh, uh, the suspect actually you should quote this to me from me that we have not called anybody a killer they are they remain to be suspects until they are proven guilty mm -hmm. and you should not put words in our mouth we have never said that we truly know that you killed because if, you, if i would be sure of that i would not only go to the police but i also chop the head off yeah so we are ready to say to to know anything that maybe after cooperation, you know. Yeah, okay. sure. Lastly, Swaliangu uh, you guys uh, have been on the front line pushing the agenda, the hashtag justice for Jeff right. since they won up until now. Wakatunafanya hii interview. Tungependa tu kujua, I mean, there are suspects, of course. Wale watu wanataja uko inje, suju walikuwa, wengine wakafanya. What is your message to DCI um, kwa, kwa suspects when you are My message to DCI. Number one, before I deliver the message, eh? the key suspect here is DJ Fatson. Why? The incident happened it, uh, in his own house. That one calls for one. Number two, uh, I already explained how he becomes a suspect in this murder case. Uh, the DCI, I want to call upon the DCI first to do a thorough investigation among the, the members, the staff members. Because maybe they are not all corrupt, but some are corrupted, some are bribed, and some are shut down maybe by the authorities. I want to tell the DCI, categorically, starting from Kasarani, I want to be very clear on this and quote this. DCI, do your work. And you should remember that this is not a golden bug case. This is not a chicken scandal case. This is not the Sagasian Magarian case. This case is very delicate and it will lead some of you to be even, uh, uh, some of you to be, uh, what do we call it? Arrested. Eh? Not arrested because arresting is not enough. <laughs> actually, you will be suspended from your works and you, you will, actually, you will lose your jobs. Uh, the DCI should be very keen on this case. I have already said, money talks. But money is not everything. Right now you are fighting us with money. Those who are fighting us with money. Remember that we serve a bigger God. That's number one. They will bring, God will bring everything in broad daylight. Just like the way God turned this case from such a, a matter of uh, suicide to murder case. He will come and uh, clear everything. And he will bring it to de broad daylight. And we are telling the this year, the earlier the better. Because the citizens of Kenya are very tired of this uncouth behavior. 
and we are you are now bringing a, a, a system whereby it becomes normal to kill and go no the this year you have asked me a message to the this year we need investigations done in a very short period and the delivery that is the file to be compiled and for the dpp the dpp also we have already had rumors how rumors has it all that the odpp is the one who has failed to sign the file because they say they have no enough evidence you have no enough evidence but when one defaults to pay a loan in a bank you have enough evidence when one appears in the streets and demonstrate because of Raila, you have ev evidence to come and arrest them but right now you don't have evidence when someone dies and uh, mysteriously and timely death and in a weird manner we will give you evidence by doing an example of taking one of the suspects to the rooftop and throw them down. Then you will come and collect the evidence from there. Yes. Yamusho, Yamusho. There has been specul speculation that DJ Fatsu is not in the country. Is that, do you know anything about it? A case to do with homicide comes with a lot of speculations, but we are not taking anything with that because DJ Fatsu has not come out clear to say that I'm not in the country. Neither, none of us is working in the embassy here and nobody is working in the, maybe he's not uh, here or stairs and the immigration department to see whether they are there or not. Mm -hmm. So now we don't care whether he's in London or where, he will be brought back. Mm -hmm. That is it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe do you think uh, the fact that there's no one has who has been arrested concerning this case he in effect maybe when your case in Akwa conducted? Obviously, it has affected from the first, from day one because actually when you say a matter to do a case to do with uh, someone dead, eh? when you tamper with uh, with uh, with uh, you tamper with the crime scene, you have already tampered with everything. And right now, police are doing works awkwardly, like the way they handle the case of one Elizabeth, a police, a police and a professional. At uh, this year, going without gloves to handle, to handle a crime scene, and it is someone that is alleged to have committed suicide. Now, when taking fingerprints and what, what do we take from there? Are you the, 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 the murderer or what? Why do you cover up these murder cases? Because these are cases that have been murdered. And I'm, I'm going to tell you sure that it is only through this case of Jeff Madi that a lot of uh, enclosure will come to the families of the deceased who went uh, missing without uh, actually being traced. And I am calling upon the government of Kenya to be very clear and very straight on this case because we are not going to give up. Personally, I am not going to give up. Even if I remain on the street alone to shout justice for Jeff, I will shout it alone until I'm heard. If you are not getting to hear it, okay, now do away with me. You have that option. I think uh, uh, in matters to do with uh, in matters to do with the uh, threats, we are refer we are receiving threats every now and then. Every now and then, in the morning, one of you guys had called me and found me. I was off. Uh, it is because I received a phone call in the morning before I even woke up with a private number. It was telling me we are waiting to see you on the streets. That was what I, I was told. And I said, uh, yes, we are coming, be ready for us. And uh, I, I switched off my phone until Nikakuja. And that is when one of you called me and asked me, are you guys still coming? And I told them, yes, we are coming, wait for us. So they are threatening us every now and then. And uh, I keep repeating this. And I keep repeating it every now and then. We are not going to give up. We are not giving up. Giving up is not an option. Today we are shouting justice for Jeff. But we don't know tomorrow we shall shout justice for who. And that is why we are on the streets. So that we can make sure that justice for Jeff is served. Yeah. Do you who, have who, is, uh, of who might be maybe threatening you? Definitely whoever is, suspect is uh, threatening us are those people who are um, probably who else. I don't have enemies. They are those people who are suspects on the matter. Anyway, who else can, sus can uh, threaten me? Definitely. So whoever is threatening us is whoever is uh, concerned with whatever we are fighting for. Either way. And let, 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 us keep it, uh, let, let, let us keep it very clear. We are not giving up. Kill us. Threaten us every day. Every now and then. We are ready. We are ready. At the end of the day, even Jeff himself is not there. I'm crying today because of Jeff. If I happen to go today, somebody else, God will raise somebody else and will shout justice for John, justice, justice for Kahiga Shosho. I will shout out and I'm not going to zip up until Jeff's soul gets, uh, gets served with justice. And by the way, for God's sake, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff is like uh, he's alive because that guy is, uh, that guy is 
uh, anatuweka na 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 na, na, na nini sana na drama sana Jeff anatuandaa kila wakati kila kuchawa na ukiwa kwa bafu na jipata ukisema justice for Jeff and we are not going to zip up guys are you going to zip up no what are we going to say justice for Jeff justice for Jeff no justice no mugidi no justice no mugidi and this Justice should be served very straight because as my, my as my friend has addressed there was two murder cases that happened last week one for one Elizabeth it has been addressed right now it has been addressed right now the the key suspect was arrested the very Sunday and arraigned in court the very the next morning yet he was a suspect he was a suspect there was another one in Akuru for that guy who runs kilo, I mean 42 kilometers race mtoto wake alikufia kwake but simply because walikuwa wameachana na bibi akachukuliwa kama suspect na akalainiwa the following day mbona huyu mmoja hajalainiwa yet na hata kuwalainiwa hakuna hata mmoja alimeshikwa na yote ni the same case i honestly it is all seen kuna cover ups but just do cover ups do cover ups but if justice won't be served by the court of law trust you me it is going to be served by hands thank the people i want to address is the religious leaders in kenya religious leaders you spoke on the LGBTQ issues. You spoke on uh, you want uh, a dialogue between the government and the opposition. You said you want uh, the government to feed the people who are dying with hunger. I want to ask you, is this not a person dying? Is this not a person who died? I want to speak to the Nini, to the DPP, to the DCI, to the IPOA. Please, please, do your level best and you want justice for Jeff. If justice is not going to be served, we are going to make sure we get justice by ourselves. And to those who are threatening us, my friends, we are never giving up. Come again, we are not giving up. We are not giving up. And I'm telling Jeff, wake up and fight for yourself.